Okay, so welcome back fourth grade to your grade level link. And we are going to attempt to draw the human face. Now, the human face is one of the hardest things I think to draw for kids. But if you learn some of these simple little tricks that I'm going to teach you, it should help you get on the right path. And the more you practice, the more you will remember, and then the easier it will become. So to get started, we're just gonna use some plain old paper today. You might have some computer paper or construction paper or whatever. I'm gonna use a roll of tape as a measuring guide, but you might have the container of a coffee can or you might have something else that's round and you can use that. It doesn't really matter what you're using. It's just to give you some guidelines. I also am going to be using two different colored markers. I have a blue and a purple, but you can certainly draw yours in pencil. I'm only using the marker because it's gonna be easier for you to see on the camera. And then finally, I'm going to be using a ruler. Now I happen to have a ruler that looks like this because this gives you a nice 90 degree angle, but you might have a ruler like this at home and you can use this kind too, it doesn't really matter. So, oh, and one last thing I wanna share with you, if you don't have a ruler, I know some kids are saying, Mr. Price, I don't have a ruler. Well, you can use something like a paintbrush like this and you can use your eyeball as a guide. So let's say this is the length, that's half, that's a quarter, that's three quarters. So you can use this as a measuring guide if you don't have a ruler, because we're not really using numbers, we're using more of spacing, okay? So to get started, I'm gonna pan you down here. Now I'm gonna try to draw this backwards so you can see it as I do it. But if I am having trouble, I might have to turn it and redirect it back at the camera so you can see it. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my circle, and just so you know at home, my roll of tape is about five inches. Whoops. So if I put that there for you to see, uh, let's see, am I at zero? Is it, oh, no, I'm sorry, it's about four inches. So I'm using a four inch circle. So if you are trying to make it look exactly like mine, try to find something that's roughly, am I measuring that right? Let me double check. Nope, I'm sorry, it, it's almost five inches. So try to find something that's almost five inches. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start with my blue marker here and I'm going to trace the circle like that. Okay, now this here is going to be the top of the head. That is the crown of the human head, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ruler and let me move you down a little bit more. I hope you can see this. And I'm gonna measure this and this should be a five inch circle. Yes, it is. And half of five is two and a half. So I'm gonna put a little dot there. So I know that that's the center of the circle. Okay, so now that I measured two and a half, I'm just gonna put some dots across the equator. So I have some marking guides. See how I put those dots on there? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide this space and this space. So the upper and the lower half. So I have two and a half here. So here is an inch and a quarter. And I'm gonna put an inch and a quarter down here as well. So when I hold this up, I divided my circle into four even sections. Do you see that? Okay. So I'll put some lines across like this. You don't have to put the lines on yours. Okay. Now here is where art and math work together. So if this is a whole circle, I divided it up into quarters. So here is one 
I have to turn this around to draw a four, sorry. One fourth. One fourth. One fourth. And one fourth. Do you see how I did that? So that equals a whole. Okay, so boys and girls, now you can see how I divided up my paper into quarters. And now what I want to do is underneath the circle, I want to add one more quarter. So, each of my quarters are an inch and a quarter. So I am going to add one more inch and a quarter at the bottom. Put a line right here and write one fourth there. See how I did that? And now, from this line to that line, I'm going to draw sort of like a half circle. Just like that. And that created the chin. So let me zoom that in. And you can take a better look at what I did. Oh, you know what I'm going to do too, guys? What I want to do is I'm also going to divide my circle down the middle like that. See how I did that? All right. So what I want to do now is I want to plant in where the eyes are going to go. And the eyes on a human face actually end up right in the middle of the circle. So, now that I have my measuring guide here, I know if I pan you down a little bit more here, it ha they have to go right here. Because when I'm drawing the human face, the eyes go in the middle of that circle. And if you're not measuring exactly, it's okay. This is just the beginning of how to set up the face. Now, a good way to figure out how to space the human eyes is you should be able to fit an eye right here in the middle. So basically, if you want to get really scientific, you can measure this eye, measure the same amount of space in between, and then draw the same eye on the other side. So a rule is you should be able to fit three eyes touching straight across. So now I'm going to go in and draw the pupils and the bottom of the eye. And for this experiment, guys, you don't have to add every single little detail. We're just drawing in the main pieces of the human face. Okay. Now, do you see this line right here? This is where the bottom of your nose is going to go. So it goes on the third mark in the circle. Okay. Now to make the human nose, I like to go like this. I like to draw a little curve next to each eye that creates the bridge of your nose. And on the line down below, put two little curves, that's the nostril, and right in between, put a little line like that, that creates what they call the tip of the nose, and then under the tip, connect it to those little curves that you put, color in two nostrils. Wasn't that so easy? Now, if you look at the human face, let's look at the ears. The ears fit in between the top of the eye and the bottom of the nose. So if I go to the side of this, this character's face, I touch where his eye is, which is right here, the little mark. And I'm going to draw the shape of an ear, and I know I can't go past the line where the nose stops. See how that marked it out for me? So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, and if mine's a little bit sloppy, again, it's because I'm just drawing upside down, guys, so you have to forgive me. So I'm going to draw 
little line under his nose. And I'm going to start to draw the mouth. There's the top of the lip. And the lip stops right where the middle of the human eye is. So if I put two lines up and down like that, these lines here tell me how far to make the lip. So if I go in and I draw some lips here, you can see I knew how far to make it because I was looking at the eyeballs. So I'm going to go in now and I'm going to draw just some eyebrows on top. And now this is pretty interesting. The human neck does not start down here. It actually starts behind your ear. So when you draw your neck, put your neck behind the ear. It goes up much higher. Do you see that? And now what I can do here is I can go back in and just kind of sculpt out the chin a bit more just to make it look a little bit more naturalistic and now for the hair your hair doesn't start growing up here your hair starts growing where that line is right here so a lot of kids also forget to put hair on the sides of the head so that's my starting place I always like to start putting hair on the side of the head and then I like to bring the hair over on the line so that way I know I'm not going to forget that. And I'm just going to give this guy some crazy hair. And when you're drawing, you don't have to draw every single hair. You can just draw some lines to indicate hair growing up. But do you see how within seconds, knowing how to mathematically map out the face, you can make a human face that looks pretty good? What I'm going to do, let me pan you back up, is now that I have this guide kind of mapped out, I'm going to do it again, and this time I'm not going to do it with the marking guides. And then you can see another face that I'm going to draw to give you an idea. Okay, so boys and girls, let's do a quick review. That was a lot of information. You start with a circle. Draw it out. You divide the circle up evenly into four sections. Now this time I'm not going to use a ruler, I'm just going to use my eyeball. So I go one, two, three. So there are my four sections, pretty even, laid out nicely. I need to use my finger and I'm going to measure one more line down here. See how I did that? And I'm going to connect that to create the chin. See how I did that? And now the eyes go on the middle line there. So I'm going to pick this up and start going a little faster. I'm going to add some pupils and the iris and just the bottom of the, the eye there a little bit. Now the nose, I have to draw the bridge two letter C's, a little line on top, which is the tip of the nose, oval-like shapes to create a nostril. The ears fit in between that space there. And now I put a little line and the mouth fits in between the nose and the bottom of the circle. And I know I have to stop when I get to the middle of the eye. A little lip there. And now I'm just gonna go and sculpt out the bottom of the chin a little bit, just to give it a little more definition. And now, let's see, I'll make this, ooh, I'll put some eyebrows on. And the chin, is there and the neck starts behind the ear not at the chin so I'm gonna put some lines going down 
And then I can start to put in some hair. And this time I'll make this a female. So I'm going to put the hair coming down. I like to start on that line. See how I did that? And then I'm going to start to build up the shape a bit. And add some hair. There. So you can see, boys and girls, once you practice and once you understand those basic measurements, you can start to make a human face look more naturalistic. So give it a try. I know it's a little challenging, but you can certainly practice over and over and over again. And if you master the project, I'd love to see a photo of your face that you drew. And you can email me at pricet at pearlriver.org. And if you master the human face project and you would like to try another project, you can certainly go click on another grade level link and see what they're doing as well. Have a great week, boys and girls. I'll talk to you soon and keep on drawing.